Hi, welcome to the Modern Application Development Screencast. Uh, in this short screencast, we will learn how to create and serve an HTML document. Uh, before we start, uh, let's open the applications on our Ubuntu desktop uh, that you want to have uh, to work along with me. Um, here, I have a browser, a Chrome browser, any modern browser would do like Firefox, Brave or uh, Chromium. I also have a editor, it comes default in the Ubuntu world called gedit, that will suffice. You can use any editor. Then I use a terminal which also comes in default uh, in Ubuntu world. It's, it's also called terminal. Uh, I use the same. And then file browser. It's love to explore all documents locally. Now let's start. A web document is actually an XML document with just a HTML extension. So let's create a one dot HTML file called index.html and save it on my computer. To save on my computer, I have created a folder structure document, mad one, experiment one. I'll create all my documents here. So let's create a index.html. I'll just use the terminal to create that. Um, that's just done using touch index.html, right? As soon as you do that, you see that a file got created here. Now, this is simply an empty file. You can see it's a zero byte. Uh, I'll open this with a default text editor. Yeah. Yeah, here it is. It took a while, but usually if you already opened it, it shouldn't take a while. So it's open index.html. Now, like I told you, um, an HTML file is simply an XML document. But we need to add a definition of what kind of document it is. In this case, we know it's an HTML document, but we need to define it at the top of the document, what kind of an XML document it is. So we'll add a statement. Uh, or doc type HTML. So this actually should tell the computer that this document index.html is an HTML file. Now let's create some basic HTML um, that starts with HTML tag and ends with slash HTML tag. So this is the basic HTML where the whole content of the document is encompassed between a starting HTML tag and an ending HTML tag, which starts with slash. Now, within the HTML and slash HTML, we'll add two sections, one called header section and the other called body section. So let's create an head section, GAD, and we'll end with slash HEAD, right? And then we'll create body section slash body section, right? All our content will go into the body section. Some of the data or metadata about this document will go into head section. The first thing that we might want to add is what kind of character set are we going to use this in this document? Uh, since we are going to use Indian characters or Indian language characters, it's better to give a UTF-8 character set. Uh, let's add that part. Yeah. That's added using a meta tag. Let me add that. You could type as well. Here it is. So I'm adding a meta tag here, uh, which says character set used is UTF-8. Also want to add a title for this document that's added using a title tag. So let's type that. Okay, so we have added a meta tag and a title tag. Next, we'll add a description. 
as to what this document is. That's also done using a, a description meta tag similar to our uh, cat asset meta tag. I'm just going to paste it. So here the meta tag name of type description uh, that's a meta and the content of the meta tag is this is an um, HTML page. Now you've seen the uh, difference here I've ended with slash code it's a single thing. Um, sometimes you can have HTML and slash HTML if there are content between the tags but if there are no content between the tags you can just end it here. We can also end this for example here right okay now we have all added everything that is required inside the head tag yeah now we'll continue with adding content to our uh, document which we'll add by adding content to body tag now we're going to create two sections just for understanding um, under the body uh, tag one uh, called main section other one is called footer section just for you know ease uh, or we can add even three like introduction main and footer uh, let's add three separate sections the sections we'll add using a tag called div tag and we'll give an id to do this div tag just to differentiate what kind of uh, data or what kind of content we are going to have inside that so I'll just say intro as the ID for div in div. Here we are going to put all the introduction about this document or whatever document that we are going to do and end it by div. And I'll create another div. Uh, I'll ID it with, you know, main section or call it main. Um, I'll also end it by slash div. And I'll probably add a footer section where I want to put some links or something like that. Yeah. So let's put div id is equal to footer. Okay. Okay. So there are three sections here, three content sections defined here. I'm going to save, uh, which is done by either clicking save here. Or doing control s uh, so you can see that it's getting saved to the path now let's add a um, what we call inside this intro section we'll add a header and some text yeah so header is added by h1 this is the main header say introduction and slash h1 right then we'll have we'll add, a, we'll add some text this is introduction part of this document okay then we'll add another uh, we'll, let's not add any headers to this section we'll just add this is main section of this document and let's add into the footer let's add a header again h1 let's add a footer slash h1 this is Photo section of this document. Yeah. So now we have created the complete document. We have added document type. Uh, we added HTML tags which defines the whole HTML. We have added header section. We have added body section which defines the content. In the header section, we define the character set is UTF-8, given a title to this document. And we are also given a description. We added three sections. Now, on the file system, this is just a document which can be opened just like a Word document or an Excel file. Here, the software required to open this HTML is a browser. Let's open with Google Chrome. There it is. Whole document is open. 
from this path which is saved on our local system like it's just like opening a uh, word document so and then you can see the title here whatever we title we gave the title comes here um, then you can see this is an introduction part of the document h1 introduction so here is the thing from the main section and then there's a footer section uh, with the header footer and here's the document so if you want to actually explore it further we can in right click and do inspect it opens an inspection box for the developers you can see whatever we have coded as a document uh, appears here right same thing and when you when you hover over the section you can see which part is what like for example this is the main part right uh, and then this is the footer part footer text part this is the footer h1 you can also see that on the screen it shows it's an h1 now this is step one now we have created a document on our local folder and we have expo explored it using or opened it using the browser until now we have created that web document and we have been able to see it but the big part of the web is the ability to share the document across the network whether it's local lan van or you know whole internet but to share this web page across the network with friends we need a web server uh, that will serve this page across the network using tcp ip let's try and do that for this we need to install a web server there are many web servers um, for example apache or even nginx can serve this but to make it simple we'll use a built-in web server which is uh, a python built-in web server so let's go to the folder we have this and let's go to the terminal and make sure that we are in the same folder path let's do an ls we can see here index.html so we know that we are in the same path now let's make sure we have, we have python i'll just clear the screen let's make sure we have python okay um, so it seems like we have python 3 and let's start the server a built-in server in python can be started using the command python 3 minus m http dot server right so now you can see our http server has started it's serving on this ip 0 .0 .0 .0 on port 8000 now 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0.0 or four zeros is a special ip address it just generally means any um, IP4 address on the local machine. Uh, so uh, it does. It, currently, you can just consider it as local host, um, or you can access local host is also 0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 because it's one of the available uh, special IP addresses. Uh, eight, port 8000 is where our uh, HTTP server is serving this document. Let's go to the browser and access this. Yeah. So localhost is a okay. So here you can see lo, it's getting served on localhost. Localhost here means um, our local machine. Yeah, there is another special uh, IP address which is also can be used to. Um, access the local machine or local IP address which is 127.0.0.1 so we can access using that also right so that's also accessible so you can access either using this or using this now this is access on accessing this machine because 127.0.0.1 actually means this machine or even local host means this machine but when you're on a network 
you know, if this is running on your friend's machine, you won't be accessing using that. So for your friend to give access to this, you need to know IP address of this machine. So you can do ifconfig. Once you do ifconfig, it will show the IP addresses of the machine. Here, the IP address of this machine is 192.168.0.209. You can copy that and let's access that machine dot 8000 so you can access that so your if your friends are on the local network or the lan they can access this machine and this web server on this port using the ip address of this machine and serving on port 8000 and now this is how you serve the uh, content across the network whether it's lan uh, or a bigger van or it could be used within your lab or home network yeah so now how is this served how is this transported you know to explore that you can right click on uh, browser and click inspect and expand a bit in this bottom section okay i'm just uh, in the top section, you can see that there are multiple tabs. Go to the network tab. So if you see the network tab, I'm zooming out. I'll zoom out a bit. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do control R, just reload this thing so that we preserve the log. And I enable this preserve the log just for our thing. So it is it's recording the network log now. So you can see that a document has been served from 192.168.0.209 and it was type document and that got downloaded the file size was 623b and 8 milliseconds and if you click on that you can see the headers which which requested this document and response uh, resp you can also see that kind of server it served it what kind of content we know we are serving just simple html and click on the source and then you can check on the response you can either see the raw data or you can just see rendered content here this raw data will be same as what we have added initially yeah and and that's it in this um, in this uh, screencast uh, thank you bye